Hi, it is Sherry. Today we're in one of our Airbnb properties in Service Road, Ice Gold Coast. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, fully renovated Hampton style property right in front of the beach. So today I'm gonna to answer some of the most popular questions I have got in terms of operating Airbnb on the Gold Coast. These include how likely damages actually happen on the Gold Coast and how to effectively maintain the property and what is the Airbnb performance on the Gold Coast like? How can you stay in your own property while doing Airbnb? So I spoke with a lot of owners and they're all very skeptical about running Airbnb, particularly on the Gold Coast. Okay, I get it, it's a holiday destination. So the impression is that people actually come here and party and will damage the property. And we've all seen news or videos of school kids tearing down plaster walls during schoolies. Don't get me wrong, it does happen on the Gold Coast, but for us, it's very rare. Those things only happen when the owner actually doesn't really care about who stays in their property. Airbnb is actually a very competitive but rewarding platform. The more effort you put into their property, the better quality of guests and the more return you're going to receive from the platform. So it's definitely not the traditional sit and forget approach compared to long-term rentals. Effort means the quality of offering, the renovation, the furniture, the marketing, the management, and etc. If you do those things well, the property will attract great guests. Airbnb also has a strong review system. You can choose to only host guests with positive reviews. Plus, Airbnb has their own insurance called Air Cover. That covers any damages from guests, so there'll be minimal risk of damages. So how to effectively maintain the property is a question because you want to maintain the property as the same condition for every single guest to enjoy. This is very hard to achieve, especially on Gold Coast because good labor is very hard and expensive to find. One of the most important parts of maintaining Airbnb is cleaning and a lot of owners hire third party cleaning companies here which can be very expensive and you can't really guarantee the quality. So before we hire our own cleaners, we always constantly have problems maintaining the quality of cleaning. Another thing worth mentioning is how available locally you are for maintenance tasks. Uh, you'll face all sorts of problems hosting Airbnb, like lost keys, you know, Wi-Fi is not working, aircon suddenly down. So at the end of the day, someone has to constantly go into the property to fix problems. And on the Gold Coast, you cannot expect tradespeople to come in the same week, let alone the same day. Airbnb also rewards you from how responsive you are answering messages. You'll show on a profile you respond in less than an hour. And to be successful on Airbnb, you also need to write good description, renew the listing regularly, and adjust your price frequently to match local demand. Yes, everyone can listen to Airbnb, but it takes a lot of effort to become successful, particularly on the Gold Coast, where labor is very expensive. So I would recommend all the owners who are actually listing their first Airbnb property, actually find a professional Airbnb manager like us to help them navigate these challenges. So how is the property going to perform on the Gold Coast? So managing Airbnb can be a lot of hassle, but it's definitely rewarding. Most of our properties get an average occupancy of 80%. And if you've been to Gold Coast, you know it's most loved holiday destination for Australian families, right? With a bunch of family activities, a 76 kilometers long of beach, and more than six theme parks. There's also a report shows that 4.3 million domestic overnight visitors were recorded just in the year of 2022. To 2023. That's about 358,000 visitors a month. Even in colder seasons, people from southern cities like Melbourne, Tasmania will come up here to escape the winter. And in 2024, we're actually seeing more international and business travelers, as well as those transitioning to long-term rentals. Even June 2024, some of the properties are getting 90% occupancy. Regardless, doing Airbnb definitely earns more than long-term rentals. So for example, this particular property is doing 82% occupancy at close to $400 a night, which is around 2,300 a week. And in contrast, if you do traditional rental, this property would bring about 1,200 a week. So the last question is, how do you effectively stay in your own Airbnb property? The major advantage of doing Airbnb is to stay at your own property anytime that you want. So Airbnb actually allows owners to block off the calendar for their own stay, as long as there is not an existing booking. And if you decide to use a management company, you'll need to research their policies. Some companies restrict owners to stay at their own property at a maximum of 14 or 21 days a year, and they often uh, prohibit stays during peak seasons as well. However, that's not always the case. In our own management, we give our owners complete freedom to stay at our own property anytime they want. So that's it for today. And if you're looking for Airbnb managers in Brisbane or on the Gold Coast, you can drop us a message. If you want to learn more about tips operating Airbnb in Australia, you can subscribe to our channel or leave a comment or what you want to see in the next video. So I'll see you in the next video.